So this question is just telling us that there's a function called reverse that reverses the contents of a structure and its import input order. And then there's another function called switch and it changes a stack to a queue or a queue to a stack. And it's asking us what the next item to be popped will be. So we just have to follow these commands and be very careful. And uh, it's saying that it's an initially empty queue. So queues are kind of like lines whoever gets there first will be served first. And so I like to write these from left to right. And stacks are like stacking a pile of plates, so I write these down to up, but you don't have to follow me. That's just how I personally like to do it. So it says that we're starting with a queue, so we're writing from left to right. So we push A into the queue, so now A is online. We push B and push C. Okay, first three commands, good to go. Now we have to reverse our whole uh, queue. So instead of A, B, C, we'll have C, B, A. Then we pop out the next um, thing. So remember in a queue, first come, first, first serve. So now uh, C is in the first position and we take out whatever's in the per first position. Now after popping it, we switch. So we go from a queue to a stack. So B is on the bottom and then A is on top. Uh, okay, so we've switched and now we push D and then we pop whatever was put in. So like a stack of plates, it's always easier to just get the topmost plate. So we're gonna take out the D. And then we have a reverse. So instead of A on top and B on bottom, we'll have B on top and A on the bottom. And we need to switch again. So we're going from a stack of A and B to a queue of A and B. Now we need to push E, F, and then pop whatever is in the front. So we're popping out A. Then we pop out whatever is in the front again. Goodbye, B. Then we switch to a stack. So we're taking E and F and putting them on top of each other. Then we need to reverse. So E, F, push G, push H. Okay, let me just clean this up first. Okay, so we pushed H, now we have to push I, and then we switch. So F, E, G, H, I. After switching, we pop out um, the first one, then we switch, so we have E, G, H, I in a stack. And after that, we pop, then we switch again, as it says here. So we have E, G, H. And the question is asking us, um, what would be the next item popped after the following commands? So we followed all of the commands, and we're in a queue now, so whatever is in the first position is going to be popped. And the answer is E.